Hey there, Kim Kunkel here, owner and designer over at easydigitals.com, Photoshop templates and backgrounds for photographers. Today, I'm gonna show you how to customize the Glory Dreams backdrop. And I'm in Elements 11 and I'm in expert mode. And when we start out, it's gonna look like this. And when we're finished, it's going to look like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna click File, Open and I'm going to browse to my template. I'm going to go ahead and push that down so I have more space. Okay, so here is my template. And when I first open it up, I see that I have all these layers over here. If I want to turn them off and on, I can use the little eyeball. So this template comes with, I'm just going to pull this out so I can, so you can, if it'll let me do this, yeah. So we can see the names of all the layers. So we have these photo filter, brightness, contrast layers, and those are all just the overall look of the background, including the player once we add the player. Okay, so this informational layer here is pretty important because it shows you where the beginning of the crest layers are, and then it goes all the way down to right here. And these all include these crests. So if you want to move the crest, then you have to press one of them and then press shift and click here. And then you can move and resize the whole thing at one time. That is pretty important to know. So we're going to move this, let's just move this over here for now and press enter. You can just select any layer and then you can start making individual changes to it. We have these light layers, which you can actually change this coloring on these if you want to like give it a different effect. And cancel that. So it has all these. You have the confetti layers and it has a mask attached to it. Your player here layer is the best layer to select before you add your player or to put your player here. However, that being said, you may want to move your uh, player to a different layer depending on the uh, where you like if you want him to be in front of the confetti, behind the confetti. So all these particle layers are just here for you to duplicate, move around, do whatever you want with. We have smoke layers for the player. These are part of a upper level uh, text that you can use if you want, which I have off currently. There you go. And then we have the shape layer, which you can change the color of that by just clicking any color. We cancel that. We have all these lens flare layers that you can turn off and on. We have the stadium layer. That's night sky layer. If you turn it off, it goes to black. Or you can change this background to any color. Or you can change this background to a different sky. So then we have these background layers. So if you turn this off, then you can see you have the baseball, the stripe, and then you have the grass you can use whichever layer you need for that. So today we're going to be working with a baseball player. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the baseball ground on and I'm going to come over here and click open and come into my baseball player. And then I'm going to right click duplicate layer and I'm going to select my glory dreams. Click OK and then come over to this and drag it up to where it says your player here, which is where I should have put it. Where is it? There you go. Now I can drag this out by grabbing the corner. Make sure it's on this screen. And then check and then move it to the left. Like I see this glow here, which is probably okay, but it I probably need to have my player above that. And then the confetti, I kind of want in front of my player. So I'm going to move that there. Okay, with the confetti on top, if there was an area that I wanted to not have it on, his, on him, then I could come over to my eraser tool. I want a soft brush. And I'm going to click my right bracket to make it larger. And I can just erase it off of him wherever I don't want it. But um, I mean, it's kind of fun to have the confetti on him, but I'm just showing you 
Like if you, there was one, one piece of confetti that was not, not, that was bothering you, then you could remove it. So, okay. I'm going to press control O to, uh, fit on screen or that's control zero, not control O control O does something else. Okay. So now I have my player in and let's say I want to change the crest. So I'm going to come up to the text on the crest. Let's, first, let's change the icon. We're going to turn on the baseball icon and turn off the football icon. And it just has a shadow that layer there with it. So it makes it, it looks more realistic with the shadow. So let's change the color of the crest right here where it says change color, double click this, and then you can sample his, uh, something in his uniform, or you can just play with this and do any color you want. Sometimes these middle area colors look best because it has the right shading. So I'm going to make this a red. That looks good. Click OK. Now for the wording, I'm going to come up to the 89. Now this is set up with two for the shadow. It just makes it look cool the way it does that instead of adding like a drop shadow to do it like this. So I, the way I like to do it is I like to turn off one. You don't have to use both of these. You could just leave one of them off if it's, you know, too much trouble to change them both. I totally understand. And you can change it to whatever. I'm going to change it to MVP. And then I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to turn this one back on. And I'm going to change it to MVP. Now, as you can see, we have an issue with sizing. So I'm going to resize it. Now I have both of these selected at the same time. I press shift to select them both at the same time. Press enter. And then you can see that it doesn't take up the whole crust, which could, could annoy you. I mean, it annoys me a little bit. So you can either change the font or you can change, you can stretch it. You can change the font or you can use a warped text. So this is how it looks when it's stretched. And if I um, view my history, I'm going to take that back and undo that. And I'm going to come get rid of this for a minute. Or I'll move this off to the side. OK, so I've got my text, my text tool. And I'm going to click on create warped text, change it to some experimentation I did, bulge 25. OK. Same with this one. Bulge 25. And you can just mess with that until you get something that you like. You can change the name the same way. You're just going to go in here. And you have three layers that you have to change. So I would turn off the one that I'm not working on so that it doesn't distract you. If it doesn't look right, then you may have a typo in one of them. So I'm turning that off. Come to my type tool. And then turn that one off. That one on. Then if I turn them all on and it looks good, then that means I didn't have any typos in there. And you can make it bigger if you need to. Control Z. Oh, then Control Z to undo that because I made a mistake. Um, select them all. And don't worry that this that this this wording doesn't change here. It's just because I renamed it, and so it's per, got a permanent name now. So you can select all of these, and you can uh, you know make them bigger or smaller, and press Enter, and you can change the font. Select, and then just change it to a different font, and then you would do it for all of them. Or if you just get tired of doing that, then you can just turn off the one, the the shadow ones. Let me go back. 
and you can change this and you can change the color so this is the color here so you could change it to a different color based on whatever you know you're doing you can also change the effects because it has effects attached to it drop shadow and you can change the sizing and everything cancel as far as this you change the words the same way and since we're not using that for this I'm turning it off I'm going to come to my smoke layers and I'm going to make them bigger so that I can see them control zero fit on screen makes it fit on screen and I'm just going to keep making it and move it to where I like it and press enter same with this you can also turn off any layers that you don't want you may want to completely turn off all the lights so you would turn them all off with this little eye eyeball and then you know how to change the background let's talk about the player for a second if you want to add a levels to just the player you can click on levels click auto to just see how it wants to do it and then you can have that so it just affects the player by coming up to create clipping mask so it's just affecting the player and not the background or you can plus press Control G and it will group it with and so then you get this little arrow and that means whatever you've done is only affecting the layer below it there are a lot of other adjustments that you might want to do you might want to do brightness contrast hue saturation if you feel like your player doesn't really match so just play with that photo filters are great for getting things to match better and again you do control G so that it just affects the player or if you ungroup it then it affects the whole the whole composite which is what these are doing anyway and then you come up to these and you can arrow through these filters and see if there's any that you like but it's not on so you can't see it let me turn it on okay now it's not going through so you can see how it changes the whole image which makes it look more like one cohesive composite I hope this helps you with all of your questions about this set if you have any other questions please let me know and have a creative day And then let's go with a red. Um, um, okay. Um, so let's see. Okay. And so um, the um, and 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 then you um 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 could could annoy you. I, I mean, it annoys me a little bit. So okay. Yeah. Never mind.